Hey guys, welcome back to Dasker Discusses. Today I'm going to be discussing Jordan Peele's new movie, Us. Let's do this. So we had Get Out in 2017 and now well the anticipated Us. This was in my top 10 of 2019 video that I brought out earlier in the year at number 4. Now FYI this review won't have any spoilers in it so don't stress. However it is hard to actually discuss the plot of this film and not give out spoilers but I'm going to do my best but don't worry no spoilers here. After the success of 2017 Get Out, Jordan Peele winning the uh, best original screenplay for that film as well. Well the main thing is about us is just about a normal family that uh, well first of all starting Lapita Nyong'o and uh, Duke Winston as well great actors. Um, basically they go on to a holiday with the family they've got two kids they go out to a normal place where they go every year apparently Santa Cruz Beach you could say that's where it is and um, well from there they kind of like get stalked by a bunch of people that are waiting outside the little boy goes mom there's people outside there's a family outside and they're all holding hands the dad goes out to investigate and we know what happens from there or well, we don't but look Put it this way, with us, what's interesting is that you go in there, you buy the ticket to watch the movie and you think, okay, cool, I'm gonna be getting a horror film, maybe it's gonna be like Get Out. No, 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 no. There's no point trying to compare this with Get Out. They're two different films, although there are some links to it, apparently, as I've read on the net. With us, it's a lot different. Now, I'm not gonna, I can't give away much of what happens, but they're terrorized by this family. Things start to go wrong, and obviously it's like a horror film, as you'd expect, you know. At first I thought, okay, the way they set this up, I'm like, I'm gonna expect something like The Strangers here, a home invasion kind of movie with, you know, people chasing everyone in a house and trying to get away from these killers. It is quite dark and quite, well, violent in a lot of spots in this first quarter of the film. Now, what's interesting is that there is a lot of humor in this film, a lot of dark humor, which I found a lot of the cinema um, people were laughing in certain parts where I'm like, well, are we meant to be laughing at that? Which I didn't mind because in Get Out, the same thing kind of happens. However, what I did find in Us was that, you know, Jordan Peele's sense of humor is great and it works in some parts, but there were real intense scenes where it just seemed like it's a bit pushing the humor a bit too much to the point of where we're meant to be actually scared, the audience is meant to be on the edge of their seat, and with this extra little dice of humor, kind of made me a bit wary of like, well, I'm actually not scared anymore for these guys and what's going on. Now, without giving too much away, the film does utilize a lot of flashback sequences from the past to the present, which is really interesting. If I say any more about that, it's gonna give away some major key plot points. And the movie goes from this home invasion, the strangers type of film, to more of a chase kind of film, or a slasher film, if that as well, where people start getting, well, it's like getting chased through different areas, and it turns into more of a action slash horror type of film, if you will. Lupita Nyong'o, his acting is fantastic as well and when they do meet this family and this is not spoiling it as you see in the trailer where they meet themselves right this is where it gets really interesting how they meet people that look like them are they them well i'm not going to spoil anymore you have to wait and see now in the last act of the film this is where all everything gets tied up together in a nice little bow and it's given to the audience all right but what i find interesting is that throughout the film and I made sure I did this, just like in Get Out, the symbolism in it. If you're gonna go watch this, you gotta make sure that you're actually watching it. Now, what does that mean? I mean, it's not like a typical horror film where you're just gonna sit back and be like, yep, okay, cool, what do you got for me? Home invasion, got it, chase sequence, got it, horror, got it, done. No, 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 no. There are distinct clues in this film that are put in on purpose. Now, I picked up on a couple, you know, I'm like, okay, cool. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna try and get past Daska? Come on, Jordan Peele, give it to me, yeah? Well, no, I did pick up on a few, and I'm like, aha, that's how that worked. Okay, gotcha there. And then later in the film, these things come back. I'm talking about subtle little things that the average viewer might just gloss over, but I'm like, okay, cool. Well, why would they show that in the shot? Okay, well, yep, yeah, it comes back in, and that's a good use of mise-en-scene of what's actually in the frame, a film element. So put it this way, you do need to concentrate throughout this film. It goes for about, well, I think, just under two hours or something like that. You do, need, you do need to concentrate in this film and you do need to make sure that whatever's on the screen, keep an eye on what's on the screen, keep an eye on what Jordan Peele's showing you as well and what people are saying and what they're doing in certain scenes. Now what, what does that mean? Well, you're gonna say, Daskar, I'm watching the movie, of course I'm gonna be looking at the screen. No, 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 I mean actually, concentrate and 
keep an eye and an ear out on certain things because it will come back. What's the whole point of this? Well, remember M. Night Shyamalan's films of the 90s, Sixth Sense, Unbreakable, all those. I'm not comparing Shyamalan to Peel, but I'll tell you what, Peel having Get Out and then Us, you can see how a director who's won an Oscar already, people are starting to anticipate his films a lot more now, obviously, yeah? It's a mixture of horror, thriller, and a bit of dark humor thrown in there, right? You've got a great opening sequence, which again, I can't get into, but the main thing is this home invasion, people that look like the people, like Lupita Nyong'o's family, chase sequences, and then we're given more info further down the track about what these doppeldangers actually are. And then in the film, at the end of the film, it's all tied up if you actually can understand it. Now, when I first walked out, I'm like, whoa, okay, let me just think about it. Was this, this, that, that all connected? Hmm, scratching my head trying to work it out. In the end, you work it out for yourself. So in the end, this is how I'm gonna put it. If you are interested in watching it and you want a film that, I'm not telling you that, there's no gore, there's no demons, there's no ghosts, anything like that. It is a very interesting film in terms of themes. Interesting what Jordan Peele's put in there about not current US politics per se, but more in terms of uh, how one person can have so much power, etc. Again, not getting into it here. Now to finalize it, put it this way, what I really liked about it and what I think really works for it is that it's completely original. It's something you probably, well, it's something I haven't seen before in terms of a horror slash thriller film. It's not a run of the mill slasher film. It's not copying anything. It's not a remake. And that's why I give it credit. Credit where credit's due. Us is not some dodgy remake that we're all used to. And unfortunately, Hollywood at the moment is filled with all these remakes and reboots. Hey, next week, even in Australia, Pet Cemetery comes out. But with us, different, very original, very different. And in the end, as I walked out, I had a number in my head out of 10 what to give it and I'm sticking with it. I give us a solid seven out of 10 and I would recommend it if you're after something that's a little bit different in terms of a horror thriller where you actually have to think and you gotta put in the pieces and put them all together and then at the end, well, are you gonna be mind blown? It's up to the individual viewer. So for us, it's a seven out of 10 for me. If you've seen it guys, please, Comment, let me know what you thought below in the comments. If you like this video, please leave a like. And if you haven't subscribed already, you wanna keep up to date with my videos, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. And uh, I'll see you on the next episode of Daska Discusses. Boom.